this is the behind the scenes before I go live with y'all, okay? I got my computer ready. Got my wine to celebrate with y'all. Y'all, look at my 20K. Oh, go Avia. I want to thank everyone that joined me on my live to celebrate with me 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for being here, for joining the family and following the journey. And best of all, I hope that I inspire you to live your joy.
Hey friends, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Abia and I just share my life. This is going to be another meal prep video and I went to Trader Joe's. So I'm going to share with you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. And did you see those flowers? Y'all, <laughs> Trader Joe's has got the best flowers that I have seen just like that magic look at these these are i don't even know what they all are but these look like little roses look at the colors oh my gosh waking up to them in the morning and just watching them and these are not even open yet so i wonder what they're going to turn out to be oh similar this one is starting to open like oh let me not spill the water this one's starting they're so cute yeah, and this was only $10, $10, that's not bad, but I love the colors. I think I might start going to Trader Joe's and get my flowers. But on that note, there are other things that I've got from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna do a little Trader Joe's haul. I didn't get a whole, whole lot, okay? But I did get some things and we're gonna meal prep for next week. Now, last week's meal, I made the pasta with the meatballs and the tacos, And okay? So I did notice that after eating the pasta with the meatballs, I still was kind of hungry and it just left me feeling unsatisfied. So I did snack quite a bit. <laughs> um, during my work day at work on a lot of candy, which is not good, and that's the truth. <laughs> I snacked on a lot of candy, yeah. So, but the tacos, they were phenomenal, delicious, and I have no leftovers. The pasta, I have one left. So out of the four, I ate three of them. And I ate all the tacos and the um, taco crumbles and all that jazz. So this week, I'm going to try something a little different for my meal prep. I'm going to try and add more vegetables, but I'm also going to add some rice to it, to the dishes. And I have two meat selections. I have steak and I have chicken. So first, let's get into my Trader Joe's grocery haul. So what I got from Trader Joe's yesterday. Now the reason why I went, because I don't normally shop at Trader Joe's, one of my co-workers suggested that I go check out their flowers. And I did. And while I was there, I did a little shopping, you know? So as you guys know, like I said, I've been trying to make healthier eating choices. And you know, some weeks are better than the other, because <laughs> I sure ate a lot of candy this past week and I want to change that so I'm trying to incorporate a lot more vegetables into my diet so here I have two sweet potatoes that's going to be part of my meal prep I have some zucchini from Trader Joe's that's going to be part of my meal prep as well and I came across these Jamaican style beef patties and I know I bought some beef patties like from our local grocery store and they were really good. So I'm going to give these a shot and see if they're good. I've never tried them. Okay. And I got some chicken spring rolls. Quick, easy meal that you can just put in the oven or your, what do you call that? Um, air fryer. Yeah. And I got some <laughs> pulled jackfruit and smoky barbecue sauce. Now, I have eaten jackfruit before and I kind of really like it. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. it. I've had it, I made a beef stew out of jackfruit one time and I made taco meat out of jackfruit one time and it was pretty good. So we have this. And that's not part of meal prep. <clears throat> I got some asparagus. And this will be part of meal prep as well. And I got this 
vegetarian uh, multi-grain blend with vegetables from Trader Joe's. And it's got um, corn, rice, beans, whole rice, zucchini, carrots, peas. Yeah, so that seems like something I would give a shot. And here I have a vegetable fried rice. Now you can heat this up. And you take whatever portion you want, heat it up, fry your egg in it, and you can put whatever type of meat you want in it and have you some fried rice. The other item I have is the savory herb chicken thighs. And we're gonna make this, it's already seasoned, ready to go. And this is gonna be part of our meal prep as well. Yes, and then, okay, so, I had never tried this until last night, guys. This matcha green tea latte mix from Trader Joe's. My, this, it's really, really delicious. I mixed it with some of my almond milk, and I put a little coffee creamer in there, some, um, my cinnamon and my cinnamon mix. It's called Cinnamon Plus. It's from Pepper Chef. It has like cinnamon, nutmeg, all spice in here. So this is, this is definitely a go-getter. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But yeah, and then I froth it and mixed it and it was so delicious. Topped it with some Cool Whip. Oh, yeah. Anyhow, and of course, you saw the flowers. <laughs> yeah. And something else that I got yesterday that I said I was going to get was, okay, so this pan has been my van life pan for two years. <laughs> this is the van life pan, but I don't have another pan I keep saying pan pot I'm sorry I don't have another pot for inside the apartment like this size I have big pots so instead of keep having to move this from the van to the back inside the apartment just like I'm gonna do with the coffee cup leave this in the van and I replaced it with this baby i haven't even opened it up okay we're gonna do it together it's from where did i go did i go to target oh i went to target so i got this from target and it's a um a three quart and i'm assuming this one here is a two quart because it's smaller so this is a three quart but let's open it up I don't know, I, I just love pans. Back when I was married, guys, to be honest, I had every kitchen gadget you could think of. <laughs> oh, I love it even more. Look, guys, it even comes with, can you see that? Little measuring things right there, you, you can measure. I love the feel of it. And it comes with a very secure lid. As if you can see, there's holes on both sides of this pan. And on the pan itself, sorry, on the pan itself, there's um, pouring sprouts. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> and you just line them up. So if you're like boiling noodles or something, you need to drain the water, you don't even have to take the lid off. You just that's for in here okay okay that's my new toy okay so we are going to get into meal prep today so that I can get ready for the work week again and this time I don't know if I said it before we are going to add some rice to the meal hopefully that will keep me sati uh, satiated Girl, you not in nutrition class. Stop acting like you still know them words. That will help me stay full or feel full, you know, so I don't have to snack as much as I did last, 
last week. So without further ado, friends, let's get into it. My vegetables are cut. Now I am going to, I'm gonna actually use foil for this. Yeah, foil. I'm gonna line my pan.
so let me come down so what inspired this meal was I was looking for a way where I could meal prep using minimum dishes so I'm gonna have a lot going on on this one sheet pan so <laughs> I'm thinking I should be able to fit everything on here besides the meats so let's see if I'm correct and I didn't even think I shouldn't have, I didn't really want to mix these two so I'm gonna try and um, when I lay them on the pan I'm gonna try and separate the zucchini from the uh, sweet potatoes now I know these are gonna cook at different levels the zucchini doesn't take long to bake at all that's why I kind of cut the sweet potatoes into smaller pieces to, in hopes that they will cook quicker. I actually should have sprayed my pan, which let me do that. I know there's oil on the food, but and this is just olive oil. good yeah okay these are separated see oh, they look cute okay so now we're gonna add on our asparagus and I didn't I didn't season the asparagus whoops I didn't season the asparagus when I seasoned the other stuff because my asparagus is very simple, <laughs> simple cook. I'm gonna lay some this way and lay some this way. Okay, I probably won't get the meat on here. Okay, so what I do with my asparagus is we're gonna spray on some olive oil on it. Give it a mix just to make sure it's all on it like such. And I normally just like salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That's about it. Really, I can just eat it with salt. Just give them all a little spray. Amazon and my Amazon storefront. This thing is awesome. In case y'all want to know. So here's all of my delicious veggies. Veggies. Y'all yeah, check out my flowers back there. Right? Thank you. Here's my delicious veggies. I'm going to put in the oven. Now, whatever cooks the first, I will take it out and let the rest cook. So let's go in the oven. Now, normally I usually eat jasmine rice, but this time I'm gonna go with uh, basami, basami, I hope I said it right, rice instead. Yeah, and it's something I already had in my pantry, so it's time to use it. So I don't really need a whole, whole lot, and I just ripped the bag. Oh my gosh. I just ripped the bag. <laughs> Hold your horses. So, I think I'm going to make like, maybe one cup of rice. Ugh, this whole bag is gone. <laughs> so let me get my rice. Yeah, there's my rice. And this is how I rinse it. I just use my little strainer, put it in there, and 
I think I'm going to do one and a half. Yeah. Okay, our rice is washed. I'm going to get my little rice cooker is where I'm going to cook it in. Pour it right in there. This rice is not going to take long to cook at all since it's not like a whole, whole lot of rice. Now, what I bought this time was bone broth. I seen a video where someone said that it adds a lot more flavor. So we're going to give it a shot. And if this is not enough liquid to cover the rice, I'll just um, use water for the rest. But I didn't want to buy like a big thing because I'm not cooking that much rice. And it comes out brown. Here, let me show y'all. Come look. Come look. Y'all see? And it looks like I am going to add some more water to it till it covers the rice. Yeah, I'm going to add some water to it, y'all. That's good. Okay. And also to it, I'm going to add some turmeric powder. It's going to give the rice this orange looking <laughs> ethic flavor uh, look to it. I'll just give it a mix. Make sure your turmeric is, you don't need a whole, a whole lot of turmeric. I probably put too much, but. And sometimes when I make it like this, I add um, vegetables to it, but we got enough vegetables in the oven. And that's how it's gonna, that's how it's looking. And it looks like all the turmeric is dissolved. And we're just gonna let that cook. So we're gonna actually just put our, cook our chicken in a separate bowl. I don't even know how many comes in here. <laughs> I have no clue. We're about to find out together. But it's already seasoned. Oh, there's quite a few. Well, whatever I don't eat will be frozen. Okay. <laughs> You see this? You see how well seasoned it is? Our vegetables are in the oven. Our rice is in the rice cooker. The chicken is in the oven. Now we can cook our steaks. These are small steaks. They were a decent price, so I got them in the store. <laughs> and I'm gonna base them one more time. And I'm not gonna really add much more seasoning to it, but maybe some salt and pepper. And that is it because I think the marinade should really, you know, the flavor should be in there. They've been, been marinating while I was doing everything else. And I am gonna cook these on my cast iron skillet. So I'm 
getting that hot now. Yeah, for the steak. So that was one dish, one dish, two, three, four cooking utensils, four dishes. And I meal prep for the week. Wow. And I'm not in the kitchen all day slaving. It is, wow, it's 10.55. So I've been at this for about an hour and a half now. You know, you have to take into account, I am filming at the same time. So there's a lot of stop, move the camera, clean up, you know, all that good jazz. Yeah, which, anyways, yeah. We're just getting our pan hot. And then we're going to cook our steak. I am actually going to use some vegetable oil. Yeah. It's a higher smoking point than olive oil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to let that cook for a couple of minutes and then right now I think I need to take out my asparagus. Yeah, I'm going to take my asparagus out. They look done. I'm going to lift them. are done yes all our food is done oh the chicken's not done I'm gonna put the chicken on the top rack let's see what it's looking like though So our chicken is pretty much done. 
but I drained the juice off and I seasoned it because it still tasted like a little bland. So, so I seasoned it with some salt, pepper, and seasoning salt. And I'm gonna put it back in the oven uncovered. Um, and I'm probably gonna put it on broil. kitchen's clean y'all and it's 1206 so I'm gonna say this took no more than like three and a half to four hours and here I have eight meals portioned control prepped and ready to go pop them in the microwave and you got dinner I got dinner or lunch and this saves time definitely for sure Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed today's meal prep video. And if you do meal prep, what are some of the things that you meal prep? Let me know, leave a comment down below. And until then guys, I will see you on the next video. Shalom, I love you, bye.